Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to dual boot Fedora Linux alongside Windows on the same computer. By the end of this guide, you'll have both operating systems installed and you'll be able to choose which one to boot into every time you start your PC. You will need a Fedora workstation ISO. Head over to fedoraproject.org, click on the workstation button and download the latest version. It's free, of course. You can also scroll down and download other additions and spins. For example, if you want the XFCE uh, desktop, you can download uh, an ISO with XFCE desktop environment. Also download a tool called Rufus. It is a fantastic tool for flashing the ISO directly to the USB. You can also use Ventoy, Bellina, Etcher, or the Fedora Media Writer tool for Windows. Fedora provides a dedicated tool for downloading and making live USB. I cannot stress this enough. While this process is generally safe, messing with partitions always carries a small risk. Please back up your important files to an external hard drive or cloud service before you do anything else. Seriously, do it. You'll need a USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes, but 16 gigabytes is more comfortable. This will be our installation media Open Rufus or Balena Etcher, select your USB drive and choose the Fedora ISO file. Now, before we move on, let's quickly talk about Rufus and those options you see, MBR, GPT, BIOS, and UEFI. When you load the Fedora ISO, Rufus might automatically select MBR with BIOS or UEFI CSM. That's just the safe default to make sure the USB works on most computers, especially older ones. But here's the rule of thumb. You need to match Fedora to the way Windows is already installed. If your Windows is installed in UEFI mode, choose GPT plus UEFI. If your Windows is installed in legacy BIOS mode, stick with MBR plus BIOS to check which one you have. Just press Windows key plus R, type MSINFO32, and under system information, look at BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, go with GPT. If it says legacy, use MBR. That's it, simple and done. Just match Fedora to Windows and your dual boot setup will go smoothly. I will use MBR plus BIOS or UEFI because secure boot is turned off on my laptop. Secure Boot only works with UEFI mode and GPT partitioning. That's because Secure Boot needs the special EFI system partition where bootloaders are stored. So if Secure Boot is enabled, you must use GPT plus UEFI for Fedora. If you try MBR plus BIOS, the system just won't boot the USB. Let's create some free space. Search for Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions to open disk management. Find your main Windows drive. Usually C colon, right click on it and select Shrink Volume. Windows will calculate how much you can shrink. For a comfortable Fedora install, I recommend shrinking by at least 20,000 megabytes. That's 20 gigabytes. Click Shrink you'll now see a chunk of unallocated space. That's exactly what we want. Leave it alone for now. If your Windows drive is encrypted with BitLocker, you must turn it off. Restart your computer and enter the boot menu. This usually involves pressing keys like FF12, F2, Escape, or Delete. Depending on your computer, select your USB drive 
and boot into the Fedora installer. Awesome, you'll boot into a fully functional Fedora desktop. This is a live environment, meaning uh, you can play around before installing. And to start the install, double click the install to hard drive icon on the desktop. Installation destination. This step is super important. Select the disk where we created that unallocated space earlier. Under storage configuration, you can just leave it on automatic. Fedora will detect the free space and set up the partitions for you, which is exactly what we want. If you'd like more control, you can choose custom partitioning. But for most people, automatic is the easiest option. Just make sure you don't select or overwrite your existing Windows partition. You can enable the root account or leave it disabled. I will enable it myself and enable SSH access. Create your user account. Click Begin Installation. Now we wait, the files will copy over. This is a great time to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Once it's done, click Finish Installation and then fully shut down the computer. Go ahead and remove the USB drive. If everything went smoothly, you should now see a beautiful clean menu called Grub. It will give you a few seconds to choose between Fedora, Linux, Windows, Boot Manager, sometimes listed on a UEFI firmware settings sub-menu, but usually right there. That's it. You now have a dual boot system with Fedora and Windows. Let, let us now go back and select Windows Boot Manager to make sure Windows still boots correctly. You've successfully and safely set up a dual boot system with Fedora and Windows, you now have the best of both worlds, the stability and software library of Windows and the powerful open source world of Linux. If this guide helped you, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you ran into any problems, leave a comment below and I or the fantastic community here will try to help out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on new Linux tutorials.